fuck off. <laughs> Dumbass thing. Okay. Okay. I don't have the tripod. Um, my camera's just sitting on some Tupperware containers because I needed to speak now. I didn't want to wait. Oh, I've got to get a tripod. I've got to get some lighting. I've got to do my hair. I've got to have a title. Blah, 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 blah. No. I need to talk. I just need to talk. You know, I'm sitting here on my own. Um, agreed. I'm a little bit stoned. But um, it feels good to talk about it. You know, I reckon that this is going to help me connect with other people in the same boat or who've been down this path before. And it's just... I never, I, I never understood like breast cancer awareness things and <clears throat> everyone bonding over something like that. And it's so amazing how in oh, just this short space of time, I fucking get that so bad, so much. Like, I just want to do something for that community. I'm, I'm part of that community now. I, I want to reach out, understand. I mean, it's just like, I, I never thought I was going to ever have such a life-changing experience like this, really. Really. It's just like, <sighs> yeah. Now, look, I'm still talking. I'm, um, first of all, I've got ADD and I'm a Gemini. So I'm going to jump from here to here to here to here. Um, if you're still hanging on the line, try and follow me. But um, I just want to get back to the, the part about the fear. I reckon that I haven't felt that fear since I got, um, since, since the doctors gave me a plan of action because I really didn't know anything that was going on. What is it? They don't know. What's the blood test? What's the pee test? What's the poo test? Have I got something wrong with my bile? Do I need to check my liver? Are my lungs okay? I mean, I didn't fucking know nothing. So my brain was just like, oh my God, oh my God, what happens if something happens to you? And the kids, blah, 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 blah. Too much. But then the doctors were like, we're going to do this and you're going to meet this doctor and blah, blah, blah. And I could see like a plan. I've been so much better and I'm just getting with the program. And um, I'm really glad that that fear is out of my body because um, I never ever in my whole 50 years have felt an emotion so strongly. Um, now, I didn't have, yeah, look, I've had ups and downs in life. We don't need to get into any of that shit right now. So I've been through crap. It's not like everything's been like all rosy and la la la. But this emotion that I felt from cancer was like nothing I ever felt before. I didn't like it. It was scary. It was scary to feel so scared. Like, oh, through every, like, cell in your body. I'm really glad that I'm back down and I'm calm and I've got a great picture and I'm feeling really good. I actually feel... I actually feel... Like, really, for the first time ever in the fucking like moment i've been working really hard in japan for the last 20 years and um, now i've got these two small kids and my day starts early in the morning at 6 30 and it doesn't finish till midnight and at that time i'm not sitting down and relaxing or anything i'm at the gym then i'm working and then i pick up the kids from school and then i do a night shift of work and then i go to bed and then the days go on and on and on again and in between that time i'm taking care of the house and cooking meals and everything like that so i'm very active i don't have time to like really register what's going on around me i just go from the next thing to the next thing and right now i'm just thinking wow i'm finally like letting myself feel something I'm feeling something like I just really feel like something good is going to come out of this and um, yeah I'm really excited to the next step so my next step is meeting the surgeon healing my titty car cars and I've got nice new boobs as well they're not bad I never had really big implants before, actually. They're just swollen, so they look bigger, but I'm really glad I got my boobs. And, um, and then I'm going to meet the oncologist in 
three weeks time maybe now two and a half weeks and I'm guessing well actually no she actually said that I will be starting um, chemotherapy now chemotherapy this is this is like a whole other thing like so many things have have been going on in my brain it's crazy um so i've been told i'm gonna have chemo okay cool that's cool i've heard from friends and this and that and i have many friends that are survivors a kind i mean i don't know what to expect but um i'm ready i'm ready to do it but the thing about losing your hair that is i think the fucking hardest thing now I'm not having chemo for three weeks, so I am going to start wrapping my head around this issue now. I need to have my plan, uh, my week. Now, I went online looking for medical week, cancer patient week, blah, blah, blah. Hello. <laughs> I am not wearing a wig. That makes you look like you've got cancer still. I mean, like, I was so stunned with all of these amazing wigs that people are wearing right now, I mean, Hollywood, I'm not telling you to people, I'm not telling people nothing, I'm talking about me. I'm not looking for a Hollywood wig, I wanna look like me, I wanna look natural, because if I went out with a wig that made me still look a bit, that made me feel like I look sick when I'm trying to be really positive in my head, I think I wouldn't, for me, I, I would be, in the beginning, I don't think I would leave the house. I would be, I don't know, I'm not ashamed. I mean, I tell every single person I see that I'm getting, can I have cancer. Um, I'm not hiding that, but I am really, 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 really fucking scared about having no hair. And when I was in the 80s, I, in the 80s, I actually um, was like, had like shaved head and no hair and just crazy hairstyles so uh, yeah it doesn't matter what I had I'm still scared I'm still scared of losing my hair um, and I don't want to wear a wig that doesn't that looks so obviously like a wig now even though I'm living in Israel and there are many Jewish women that that wear wigs a lot of them don't look natural and I don't want to have a wig that doesn't look natural I'm sorry that's just me um, so for this next three weeks, I'm on a mission to get a um, proper lace front medical wig made that actually looks like my hair when it's drier, but better, <laughs> better darlings, more body, more length. Um, and look, I don't want to shock my kids either. Like if I, they're four years old and eight year old and my what i want to do with my kids is keep them a little bit in the dark i don't want to tell them what's going on if i can just they know mummy's always doing something crazy with her hair it's pink it's blonde it's this it's that so if i rock up in wigs that look like wigs they're going to think i'm playing but i have to have a wig that looks like hair um so i'm on the mission to start getting a couple of those made so in, in three weeks time when I start chemo, I have everything lined up. Everything's ready to rock and roll when I need to slip it on my head. I also want to practice how to um, wear it, how to put it on, how to wash it, you know. Um, it's gonna be my new life, I, it's a whole new world. I was also looking like online at scarves and caps and, oh, sorry, but I don't like any of them. I don't, I, I am, there's got to be some cooler shit out there, you know, there, I'm, I'm going to find it, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it myself, I'm going to make myself a fucking cool hat with hair under it or just a cool hat to wear around, I don't know, but yeah, there, it's, there's got to be more out there to look and feel beautiful while you're going through chemotherapy, so that's kind of like my mission now that I've jabbered on and explained my story. My mission now is to, look, 
first of all, I'm a beauty, ther beauty therapist by trade. Um, that's what I do. My main thing is acne skin types, but um, I'm good with skin, I'm good with beauty. Uh, I think I'm good at with fashion. So I'm just gonna make sure that I stay feeling beautiful through this whole journey. Like I asked myself, now, no eyelashes, we're not, we're not gonna have a hair, you're not gonna have no eyelashes. I don't mind having no pubic hair, but I don't have to wax my muff every month. Good, my husband would like that. Um, <clears throat> no hair on the legs is okay, but you know, like, I'm sure for every woman, the part of losing your hair in the beginning, like getting used to it, looking at it, it's a transition. It's definitely something that is emotional and and just like, oh, it's, it's got to be. I can't be the only one feeling like this. And I'm, I'm sure in the end I'm going to embrace it and I'll probably end up putting Swarovski crystals just on my bald head and run around the street in Tel Aviv with some silver sparkly boots on. But in the beginning, I think for me, I need to like get a wig that looks like my hair and um, I need to try to feel like I can look as much as like me as possible. And then we'll take it from there. So I don't think I want to talk anymore right now. Um, but I'm really happy that I put this down on video. I'm really glad, oh my God. Now, um, It's good. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I don't know. Even though I've just found out that I've got cancer, like inside my body feels somehow good. It's weird, but I'm liking it. I'm going to go with the fly. I'm going to go with it. I really feel like this platform that I'm starting today. Is going to help people it's going to help me it's going to help people i'm going to look into the beauty industry in a whole different way instead of just worrying about problem skin um, and whatever information i pass on i'm hoping that everyone's going to love it as well so i'm out of here sorry i've jabbered on but um at least now everyone can find out who Miss Marilyn is and it's me. So I've got to dismantle my fabulous, this is my tripod set, check it out. That is how much I um, needed to talk and I don't really give a fuck how I look for YouTube. Okay, Miss Marilyn. I think I'm going to talk, call my show The C Word in the raw with Miss M. All right, night guys.